What's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Don't got the technical around because we're supporting breast cancer awareness month, so we pinked out. You feel me? But we still talk about the Texans and that heartbreaking loss. First and foremost, I think Rob Homeboy did not catch that touchdown. His his foot came down out of bounds. He slid out of bounds, and his other foot never came down in bounds. Not he gets that left foot in. There's the right foot. Let's see if the left foot is in. There's the right one. Ooh, I think the right, I think the right, there's right shit. I've been taught everything I know about football says that's not a touchdown. So, I feel like we were robbed, but it is what it is. The defense really should have been able to stop them from going downfield and score. Everyone's making the big thing about the two-point conversion, and we should just kick the field goal. We could have been in the same situation. If the defense played the same way and let them get all the way down there, and we had already let them get two-point conversion earlier in the game. So either way, the issue here is the Texans' the defense. Now, J.J. showed flashes of, you know, prime J.J. going back to his prime. The Patras showed flashes of being really good in getting back there. But I haven't seen any real consistency. The secondary... While it was good at times, I just think the whole defense as a whole is inconsistent. And when you think about this team moving forward, you got to get some more pass rushes. You got to get a linebacker that can set the edge on the outside. You got to get a set down corner. We, the defense needs help. You know what I'm saying? We make so much about the offensive line and Deshaun not having no help. And I know I make a lot about that too. But yesterday after watching the defense, it's like, come on, guys. Deshaun went... 28 for 37, 335 yards and four touchdowns, and we still lost the game. That's not on the offense. That's not on the offense. You cannot let the throw for four touchdowns, 335, and still lose the game. The song has been going off. He has answered his critics. They was criticizing the song crazy. They was talking out their neck about the song. And since Bill O'Brien's left, these last games, he has been going off. He's been thrown for 300. He's been thrown for four or three touchdowns. Deshaun's going out of his mind. He's playing for his life. You know what I'm saying? He's showing, you pay me this money, and I'm going to give you your money's worth. But the defense, the defense, the defense, the defense is struggling. We Okay, we could contain the Jacksonville Jaguars, but the Jacksonville Jaguars are not the Tennessee Titans. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, the Titans, as much as I don't like them, they got something going on. And it's like, when it matters, our defense cannot get a stop. We cannot buy a stop. We cannot stop the running game. And I know that has a little to do with McKinney not being out there. I know McKinney is a huge linebacker. And McKinney does a lot in terms of stopping the run and being in the middle. It's definitely a very different game if we have McKinney in the middle next to Zach Cunningham. I just, it look, man. The defense needs help. And it's apparent that this defense needs help because the Texans defense has always been good. As long as I've been as long as I've been watching football, as long as I've been watching the Houston Texans, our defense has always been good. No matter what was going on, on the offensive side of the ball, I can always rely on JJ Watt and whoever was around him to get it done. We could not buy a stop. The the game was won. All we had to do was stop them. Was stop them. And we couldn't. We cannot buy a stop. We cannot. <sighs> it's good and burst. You might see the defense get some pass rush. Woo! They might stop the running back in the backfield. Woo! We might get an interception. I like that. We might get a great pass breakup. I like that. But it's not consistent. And consistency is a thing that was killing this Texan team. Before Bill O'Brien left, it was an inconsistent team. With O'Brien gone, we're a little bit more consistent. The offense is looking better, but the defense is still looking inconsistent. And we just we can't we can't let up 200 yards. You can't let Derrick Henry rush for 200 yards and expect to win a football game. Now, despite us giving up 200 yards to Derrick Henry, that game still was close. It still went to overtime, you know what I'm saying? Like, if the Titans are a contender contender like they're talked about, they're expected to be, and we played them like that, and we only have one win, look, that shows this team isn't that far away. This team is a fix offensive line, fix defense, and let the star and the receivers go. You know what I'm saying? Because the receivers are going off. 
Every week it's somebody new. It's Fuller, it's Cobb, it's Cooks, it's it's Fells. It's it, if you catch the ball, you get it worked. You know what I'm saying, man? So I'm the offense is clicking. The offense got it right. The offense said, okay, well, this is what we're gonna do. And for the most part, they're doing it. The only question mark on the offense is David Johnson, because personally, I want Duke Johnson to have more carries, give Duke Johnson the ball more. I feel like he's more dynamic than David Johnson, but hey, David Johnson is not terrible. He's not doing bad. He's not just, you know what I'm saying? He's doing something, you know what I'm saying? Getting those hard earned yards, those hard runs. But I would personally like to see Duke Johnson more. But I feel like when I think about yesterday's game, Deshaun showed up. He played amazing. Will Fuller played amazing. Brandon Cooks showed up, you know what I'm saying? Especially in the second half. The Titans were there and they made several good plays. The offensive line was decent, you know what I'm saying? So when I think about why we lost that game, I don't I don't blame it on two point conversion. For me personally, I wouldn't win for it too, you know what I'm saying? If I got opportunity to put them away and ice the game right now, let's do it. I got one of the best quarterbacks in the league and we've been clicking on offense the majority of the game. Go out there and let's Put them away, let's isolate, let's end the game here. It didn't work. Okay, I'll live with that. But, but, you, you hope your defense will do their job. It was made such a big deal that when you kick the PAT back in the day, it's like, you expect your defense to do something. You expect JJ Watt to come up big. You expect Whitney Merciless to do something. You expect Zach Cunningham somewhere. You expect somebody on that defense to say, hey man, this is the game. It's on the line. The offense went down there, they put us in the position, and you know what, we didn't get the two-point conversion, but it's our game to win or lose now, and the defense lost that game. When we lost that coin toss, the star knew what every Texan fan knew. This game is over. This game is over, because the entire, like, fourth quarter, the defense was not stopping the Titans. Yes, we got a couple stops, but it seemed like the fourth quarter and on, the Titans were like, okay, well, we're gonna run, 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 run. We might pass it. It's a heartbreaking loss. It's a heartbreaking loss, you know what I'm saying? But when I think about positives from the game, Deshaun Watson's still a top town in the NFL, you know what I'm saying? Despite all that stuff y'all was talking, despite all that y'all was talking, still a top town in the league, you know what I'm saying, man? Proved it yesterday. Will Fuller can be a wide receiver one. Cooks could be a wide receiver one. It, we look like we got multiple wide receiver ones. The Titans are working. The offensive line is improving. You know what I'm saying? And we competed. We competed with contender. You know what I'm saying? The Titans are supposed to be the new hot thing coming out of the AFC. And we forced them into a good game. Because it looked like they were just going to just run off with it. But we fought back. We played a good game. And we, we went into overtime. So this team isn't that far away. It's, I think there's a start up with the offensive line. Whether that be the draft or free agency or making a trade. Serve the offensive line. Go get you a pass rusher. Draft, you know what I'm saying? Go get you another edge linebacker. Draft, free agency, whatever to make it work. Trade, I don't know. Get you a good, decent core. Try to get Justin Reed the running mate, and we'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? We got the Packers next week. Um, kind of scared for that game. I mean, the Buccaneers were able to stop them and. So hopefully our defense shows up and we can hold um, Aaron Rodgers, but you know, any game against the Packers, any game against Aaron Rodgers is not going to be an easy game. So we'll see what happens next week and we just going to keep fighting, man. But we were robbed, robbed, but you know, defense got to be better than that. Because to me, we could kick the PAT, you know what I'm saying? And they still would have gone down there scoring and got two points of and we're having the same conversation. To me, the defense just got to be better. That's how I feel about it. Go ahead and jump down in the comments. And let me know how you feel about this game. I hope you enjoyed this video. I like this video, share this video, comment on the video, show some love and shine your 2020 all 2020. 2020 almost over, man. Maybe 2021 will be a little less crazy. We'll see, man. But y'all think I see. God love all the dexterities.